everyone, it's the podcast. We're on episode 27, though. Yep. A very fun unveiling feature here. Ow! There we there go. You go. It's Haritos Guava. Ah, guava. Ah. Nice. It is pink. Oh, that I smells horrible. That doesn't smell good. It's not bad. No. It tastes like it would be a very juicy fruit. Enough to move you? Sure, Muppet Fruit. Oh, God, it's Gary. He's the one who's like, what are you guys doing tonight? Probably staying home, but really they're going to a fruit bar or something. Yeah. It's like, I'm a fruit! I like it so far. <clears throat> oh, we're at Club Harita. Yeah, it's like I put in a CD-ROM in my Performa. Do they make that? Ooh, I guess. <laughs> Do they make that? Why would they put it there? <laughs> For 10,000 bottles of Haritos, you can get an Xbox and a TV. At the most, I would say. Yeah. On with the news. Texas A&M. Yes. <laughs> I don't have that. Near and either. dear to my heart. Yeah. Signed a contract with Pepsi. Yes. So that Pepsi is now the official drink. Were you like, oh, I'm so thirsty. Ugh. Yes, I poured it on my face like a crazy <laughs> person. You know, in Europe, they call them stimulation drinks. Dr. Peppel is the new name for Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. No. Jones Soda is among the companies in the soft drinks industry with the lowest beta. Remember back in a simpler time when Heckman brand <laughs> sodas were all you needed to quench your thirst? As soon as they went on strike, Coca-Cola got rid of their health care. That is not cool. Or refreshing. Hey, remember the soda stream? What? Today at the International Fighting Association exhibition in Berlin, Soda Stream has unveiled the Fizz, a high-tech indicator designed to aid consumer understanding. Alrighty. That's handy. That is good. A dude was paid to come up with these three words. Incredibubble. Delectabubble. Desirabubble. That's very horrible. The Riddler. Has stolen crops. You have corn sugar and sparkles. And sparkles. That sounds delicious and healthy. Ha- happiness. It's like Hitler but- going, don't call me Hitler anymore. My name is Mickey Mouse now. <laughs> You're still Hitler. Wow, I'm surprised that's clean. I thought it was more of an adult website. He had two guns. The store owner was also armed with soda cans. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's not playing. He got a gun. Go far away. Go far away. <laughs> I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. Oh, Pepsi hit my face. <laughs> but you know, he keeps going inside. Inside. And guava. It's interesting enough. It's not terrible. It's kind of sweet. I think there's a lot of uh, initial fizz. I don't. I think it's very calm on the carbonation. Yep. Not overly fruity. Not overly sweet. Worth giving a shot to. Slightly tart. Where's ah. my puppy, Dad? Don't you like this train? You like this bowling ball I bought you? Getting I'll shot in the face smells like root beer. Yes. So. Pop. Stop, pop, and scroll on over to the SoJerks.net. Where you can find a lot of reviews of soda. Like 175. Yes. Later. If you would like to listen to our show, you can subscribe to us at iTunes or the Zoom Marketplace. Or if you want to be our friends, you can go to Twitter.com or Facebook.com slash the Soda Jerks. If you'd like to email us, you can email us at Mike, Aaron, or Twist at the Soda Jerks.net. Gary the Plum is never wanted.